Hey everyone out there, I've been getting again some really great feedback about Professor Synapse, but I really do want to dive in in depth in terms of like the kind of ridiculous things you can do. So I'm going to walk you through how I have developed something I'm calling for now at least, History AI, History. And the idea behind this is I wanted to gamify learning about the history of artificial intelligence really focus on a more narrative style where I get to choose what I'm interested in and that gets fed back to me in a way that I enjoy and is entertaining. So I'm going to walk you through how I created this and really how important the banter is you have with ChatGPT and really getting down to what you want and what you want it to do. So I use Professor Synapse, as you can see here. I'm not going to go through this. There's another video about that. But this is what I said. I want to start a historical narrative-based game where I get to relive the history and development of AI through the eyes of the people who contributed to it. And trying to figure out the best way to do that through Synapse CoR, so creating the agent. So now he's going to help me out here. He's going to ask me some questions. Here's some more details of what we can do. Does it align? And it's like, you know, close enough. Let's, let's just get it started. So here we have him booting this up, expert in historical narrative storytelling techniques, curation, reasons step by step, identify, curated list of historians. This is important because we want to get the tone right, and it's always better to find the style of someone. We'll kind of analyze the methods they use, have a conceptual framework, and just, you know, create the historical accuracy. So I say, yeah, that sounds good. It asks me some more questions. It's not super important, but I wanted to start this after World War II because that's when things start really picking up. I know a, a little bit about everybody, so that's really important because I can feed that. I know exactly what I'm looking for. So I, I said I wanted to go from the end of World War II up till this very famous paper. Attention is all, <laughs> I spelled it wrong, all you need in terms of the, the time period. And I really wanted to focus on the relationships of people. I know, for example, Jeffrey Hinton was Ilias at Skever, who is over at OpenAI, his mentor, as well as, you know, Jeffrey Hinton is very important. And like what was going on with DeepMind and all those guys. So I, I think this is, uh, this is how I wanted to focus on it, is really thinking through the relationships and ethical dilemmas. So, you know, obviously this is helpful. I have a clear vision. These are some of the people I'm interested in. So it's going to come up with the milestones here. But I wanted to talk about the historian. So I'm trying to figure out who do I want to essentially have as my style and tone. So this kind of brings it out. It thinks about it. And then it comes up with these people. Barbara Tuchman, David McCullough, Doris Kearns Goodwin, Yuval Noah Harari, and Siddhartha Mukherjee. Of these two, I really love Yuval Noah Harari. I love the book Sapiens and Homo Deus, and I just love the way he writes. I hadn't heard of Doris Kearns before. I'm going to have to check her out. So I figured, but like, let's combine them. I think Doris Kearns, it was really about the relationships, historical figures. So he's like, okay, that's great. Let's do the things. Proceed. We'll do the things. You know, this is just me going through the, the yeses, the, the sort of auto GPT part. Okay, so now we get into the outline. This is our skeleton of thought, our outline to print sort of idea. We really want to outline everything that we're going to go through first. And so this is a pretty good outline here in terms of breaking up the history. Again, I know a little bit here, so I can look at this and be like, okay, this, this makes sense. This all seems true. So I say again, let's good. Let's do it. And now he's asking me permission, should I create a new agent for this game development? And here, this is important, be specific when you're, as much as you can, provide the context, always remember that. So this is how I really want to personalize. I want it to be like a dungeon master. I want to gamify the experience by asking me what direction through each period I would like to take. In other words, each period should act as its own little adventure and each with an open-ended question of interesting stories the period in people, then output the style of Yuval and Kearns. We want this agent to have a command next, which will identify when I'm ready to move on to the next period, aka adventure. And I just ask to see if it understands. So here we go. Synapse UR engaged. And here we have our nice little, little game icon. 
you know, no name, but we're going to call him History I or History. We're just going to say History for him. And now we're good. So at this point, I just want to save. You know, it's been kind of a long conversation. I, I'm probably not super close to the context limit, but we really want to sort of like consolidate the information at this point. So the command engages, it gives us our SMART goal, which is pretty good. It tells us about our progress so far. And then here's the next step. Would we like to proceed? Yes. Now you can't see this. I, this next one I had to do a couple times because it wasn't quite getting what I wanted it to do. And so I had to do some tweaking. So what I ended up before this, like fully dived in, I wanted to give a little bit more direction. So, you know, obviously appreciate the professor and then moving forward, take a step back unless I call for you with the command professor. So what was happening is that he was still coming to the conversation and really that was taking me out of like the game part of it. So I, I was like, okay, so now moving forward, professor synapse, like go to the background and then history. You know, this gaming icon really immersed me in these moments with the narrative style of Yuval and Kearns and keep it historically accurate. It was starting to do this thing where it's like, what would you like to do? But then I would be like changing the course of history. And that's not really what I'm looking for. I just want to explore my interests. So I say that the choices you give me aren't so much decisions as if I were the character in history. It's more about asking me somewhat open-ended questions to test for my preferences and help me understand the period and the people better. So moving down, it says, certainly, okay, so you see now, Professor's gone, but it is still doing this fun thing where it has our little storyteller here. And then here we go. We hop into our adventure. And then here's your first choice. Would you like to know more about Turing's personal, personal life and its influence on his scientific work? I'm more intrigued by ethical dilemmas. And from here, this is the game. So this is a, a, a way of using Professor Synapse in a fun way to learn about history with your own preferences. I am going to be posting these. Don't worry. I have my podcast, Chat with ChatGPT, and I don't know when I'm going to have these start coming out, but the plan is to continue the conversation and see how this game goes while also learning about the history of artificial intelligence. So I hope this was helpful to you, and uh, thanks for watching.